world is competition. I'm trying to break the wall. What the world is competition. I'm trying to break the wall. What is competition? I'm trying to break the wall. I'm trying to break the wall. Wall, rock the wall, wall. What the world is competition. I'm trying to break the wall. What is competition? Cause I'm trying to break the wall. What the world is competition. I'm trying to break the wall. I'm trying to break the wall. Wall, rock the wall, 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 wall. Sweet like chocolate, scary like apocalypse. About to tell these walls apart and there's no stopping it. Sick of ratchet mainstream music, y'all giving. If I could be the talking of the NB, I'm winning. I ain't lying, I be breaking all the time. Check the record, I be breaking, breaking, breaking each line. Break record, I'm reckless, I'm the top of my kind. They blinded by the shine, Jane can't be denied. I'm the new leader, Hell Caesar, about to take the throne. While y'all niggas roam the streets, I'm trying to take Rome You fake phonies, you don't know me, and we ain't homies Thinking that it's all love, but what you want from me? Hey yo, this is Rick Jane, and we up in here in Manhattan Beach And this is Feral Maddox I'm coming after you, I'm starving and I'm hungry Got an appetite to damage you competition, I'm trying to break the wall What the world is competition, I'm trying to well, like, moms, when I was a kid, man, my mom, she made me take piano lessons, like, as a kid, and I, <laughs> I actually hated it, dude, like, because I'm like, why are you making, like, she made me take them, you know what I mean? She didn't ask me, like, you want to you take piano lessons? It was like, you taking piano lessons. So, um, that, I didn't like it at first, um, but I did it for years, man, and her reason for it was like, she couldn't, her her mom couldn't afford it when she was a kid. Cause she was like, man, I can afford it. So I'm gonna make sure you get the piano lessons to start. You know what I mean? So even though I hated it, man, like it wasn't until years later where I like appreciated that shit. And it was like the foundation of my music, you know? So then when I went to high school, I went to Washington high school, man. And I, I used to be a ball player. So I was like in the basketball hard. And I went to Washington, I was going to try out for the basketball team and I saw the band and they was like, they were sick, like they were just hard. And I was like, man, I want to be a part of that, like straight up. And uh, when I got to the band rehearsal, the, the band teacher, Fernando Pullum, he was like, you know, you got to, uh, we already got piano players. Like we don't need a piano player. It's marching band season. Like you got to do something else. You only get half so many piano players. Right, like, <laughs> and it was marching band season. There ain't no pianos yes. on, the, on the field, you know what I mean? So he was like, you got to do something else. So I ended up doing it being in the pit, which is like, you play xylophones, you play like uh, auxiliary instruments, claves, triangle, you know what I mean? So I did that. So after marching band season, he was like, my band teacher was like, okay, so what you want to play now? You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck it, I'll play trumpet. You know, he's like, all right, for sure. And I literally taught myself how to play. Like I looked at the, the chart, and figured out the fingering on my own, you know what I mean? I didn't have no lessons. Like, I literally taught myself how to play trumpet. And it, since then, man, it's been like, oh. like, I ain't, I ain't put it down since, you know? And it's opened up so many opportunities for me, dude. Like, I could have stopped a long time ago, like after high school, but I just kept playing. And even though I didn't go to college for music, like, I went to college for something else but I still stuck with the music. Like being a part of the band Wild Bunch, like it just, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm grateful, I'm thankful that I kept that shit, you know? You already know, already on, already gone. See, I'm already flown, I'm ready, all ready. So at first it was like, I'm just gonna rap. And I didn't wanna use my trumpet, right? But the whole female trumpet player thing, like it's, it's an or to it, like people look at me differently, like, oh, you play the trumpet. Like they don't even, a lot of people don't even know I rap. Like be like, oh, you a trumpet player. So they just in awe about that. But it's like, once I realized that people really like the trumpet stuff, I was like, I need to incorporate it. Cause this is what's gonna make me different. This is gonna make me like, not like all the other female rappers that's out here or rappers in general, right? Um, so now I'm not just a rapper. And then I'm not just a trumpet player. Like I'm an entertainer and I do it all. So um, I had to like focus on that, like really hone on believing in myself that I am all of that, that I cover that umbrella. Like I dance, I sing, I produce, you know what I mean? I'm not just a rapper. So the trumpet player, the trumpet playing stuff, like, yeah. How did you incorporate that? Do you, do you 
put out a, a whole a project? I did. Like, so once I was like, oh, I'm going to do this rapping shit, I did a mixtape. And I basically got songs that I like. So like Jay-Z join and like different people I like, I got their tracks and I created my own music to it. Like new hook, new everything. And I just released it like as a mixtape. It's called California Raisins. And um, that was like the start of it. But I didn't play trumpet on that. You know, it wasn't until I performed and I was like, oh yeah, let me bring, let me break this out. Like this, this is going to be the difference. I'm ready, boy. Ready to call, ready to blow that ooey. Got a little booty, plus I've never been a groupie. Kind of loopy, never shot a Uzi. So you got random, random. Like, her music director, Derek Dixie, like, hit me up on Facebook messaging. And uh, was like, hey, I have an opportunity for you. We're looking for a trumpet player. Can you come down? I go that day. Um, and... <laughs> I walk in and he like slides me like uh, an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. Off bat, off bat. Like I, I ain't even take out my horn. And I, I walk in and here you go. And I read the top and it says Beyonce Super Bowl 50. And I was like, like, so I had no clue. He didn't tell me it was Beyonce. Like he didn't say anything. So I had no idea what I was walking into. So that was just incredible experience. I didn't have to audition. Like it was like, you have the gig. Um, that was just amazing. Like being a part of that, she just had all girls, you know, the dancers and everything. And she got so much backlash from it after the Super Bowl because of the Black Panther thing, you know. But just that experience overall, like you see hard work, like hardcore hard work, you see it. And it's like, this is what it's supposed to be. You know, a lot of times you see a lot of bullshit and a lot of fake stuff and it's it's not the real business as far as how things are supposed to flow being there is like this is what it's supposed to be like you know so i'm i'm shit i'm thankful for that opportunity yeah like honestly i think it's from jay-z like i've always been a fan of jay-z from um hard on life too um, and in the blueprint, like, I had Jay-Z poster on my wall in high school, you know what I mean? So I was like a fan, for real. Um, so I think that's where it come from, as far as like the New York style. Like, I always hear that people will see me and be like, are you from New York? Like, nah, I'm from LA. Like, I rep LA all day. But just, I think it's just my whole, my whole steez, you know? Um, but I would say like, Jay-Z had a definite big influence on my flow and like, my approach to rapping. Like, but I, I hear all kind of things all the time. Like people be like, oh, you sound like MC Light or you sound like uh, Shauna or uh, Foxy Brown, like Lauren Hill. I hear it all, like I hear it all, you know? Yeah, <laughs> for real, like man, to be compared to any of those, like, come on, man. But of course you, you always want to like do your own thing. Like I want to have my own name, but to have the comparison is dope. So next, I am releasing my album. Like, all new original music. I produced some tracks on there. Um, got some collaborations. And that's gonna be released November 8th. And the name of the album is called Jane Got a Gun. So, um, the gun represents the horn as well as the microphone. So it's like a metaphor for that um i'm excited like i honestly was trying to release it august 9th uh but after talking with the team we just felt like let's push it up a little bit let's try to work on some more more production maybe get some more collabs you know so i mean it makes sense like looking at it now like uh yeah i'm glad we did push it back that's cool you know um obviously like doing more content like this more videos freestyle videos like all that like my personality i'm so like laid back and undecisive about stuff i'd be like well i don't care like yeah now man i'm cool with that but just having somebody else to ask like do what you think should it be this or this um 
And I just recently got a manager and she's been like super helpful with making those decisions and helping with advice. Like, cause I don't know everything. And just having a different perspective is so important. Like I have a, um, my friend who's a stylist and she does my makeup and she just helps in the creative process in general. Um, my dude who produces for me, he helps on the music side with the production and like how stuff's are sound and you know, so those three people, like, I'm, I'm like, I need y'all. Like, I don't want y'all to go nowhere. That team is so important for the success of Rick Jane. Like, I can't do this shit on my own. Like, no, no, I can't. So having them there, I'm thankful for them. I'm, I'm glad they in my corner. Like, they support me 100%. No, you know, iffy, you know, they, they definitely have my back. So I'm down. I'm, I'm happy for that, man. What is competition? I'm trying to raise the ball. I'm trying to raise the ball. Go, rock the go, ball. What the boy just competition? <laughs> Rick Jane. So, like, the day I decided, like, to make, become artist. So there are multiple things I had to think about, right? One was the name. Also, what I curse. Um, so, the cursing thing, I kind of was like, this is who I am. Like, I can't. I, I do curse, right? So why why hide that? And I had to realize like, oh, my family may not like, they may not like it. They may not support me. And I had to make that decision like, but this is, they're real religious. So I'm like, I may not have my family support. Okay. And I, that day, make that decision. So then it was like, okay, so what's my name gonna be? And I know I always knew I wanted like two names, like first name, last name. So when I'm thinking of stuff, I was thinking of things that I like. And I like basketball. I like weed. <laughs> and when I thought about the weed part, the song Mary Jane came in my head. Mary Jane. And as soon as I sung it in my head, it was like Rick Jane. Like that, that clear. Um, but then my name also has so many other things involved with it. Like Rick Jane, I am a tomboy. So Rick is the masculine, Jane is the feminine. Um, and while a bunch of guys used to call me Janie, so all of that works, plays in the part. Um, my real name is Janae. So it's like Janae Rochelle. So it's like a flip of that. It's, it all combines everything. But when I tell people, they be like, Rick J? And most of the time people are like, damn, I like that. I told somebody that and he was like, oh, you need to get that uh, trademark. You need to get your name trademark. I'm like, okay, yeah. And I spell it with the Y. Um, and I spell it with a Y, and that's from Wild Bunch. We spell Wild, all our names with, with like a Y in it, right? So that's it's all like it was all a reasoning for it. You know what I mean? It just wasn't no. It all it all came together. Uh, 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 uh.